What the? The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. If he was dismissed... You figure something out? The homeroom teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah? What of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Let me search for the original teacher's name. There's a chance he won't be the same guy in the yearbook. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kitakata? Huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So, Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kawana. That's him, all right. Yeah. Not only that, Sawa-sensei was part of this class, which makes Kawana her homeroom teacher, too. This is the link we've been looking for. Everything has clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yuki Takata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kawana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. Huh. You think one of them was Kawana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. RK might have learned of Kawana's involvement while searching for Kawai. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. Wh Hold up. Individuals who were his acquaintances? Meaning more people besides Kuwana-san, right? Could that mean... You got it. We already know this. Oh. The students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawai. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. What makes you say that? Well, Kawana had this on a secret flash drive, right? But to anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, it'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yep, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kawana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawai. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawai was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawai was murdered. No body's been recovered yet, either. 
Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Yeah, it's a bunch of what-ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawai's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Ijincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man, what the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sawa-sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawana's most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yui Mamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear, with Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Sukumo-kun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Sukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, hey. Don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. <laughs>